Freeze down for the retrospection. Got an answered question. I'm looking for a new direction. He goes by the name of X Avia, and his music is mind blowing. Literally, his music, a collection of life's memories. Most of my music is a reflection of my own memories that I experienced firsthand or like shared experiences with friends. Given that the genres he sings aren't indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago, Xavier said he understands the challenges in promoting his music but intends to break those music and cultural barriers. Well, I understand the challenge, especially coming from Trinidad and Tobago. And I think my music, my hope is that my music will speak for itself. So I understand just how diffi diff difficult it will be and just how outstanding my music will need to be. And so I really put everything into my music. Xavier is already receiving an outpouring of support via social media for his songs. He said he's also been approached by a number of national radio stations asking to play his music. But he has to work on his collection of music and sort through copyright issues before dealing with any requests. A couple of radio stations from Trinidad reached out to me as well and asked me to come and just like release this song. But I also got some advice to get a full body of work before I start releasing so that it will build a following and then it just drop off the map. So that's why I kind of haven't released it to the radio as well. He plans to collaborate with soca artists after developing his brand and sees himself performing before intimate crowds in the UK in the near future. In the next two years, I I see myself in Germany <laughs> performing for, for uh, a stadium full of people because, well, my main producer, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you guys who, who it is just yet, but they're from Germany. So that's where I basically get most of my beats. For now, he's working on building his music collection. Patricia Nicholson, CNews, Tobago. Somebody tell my story. Shout out to Gabby girl, I know that you adore me. I didn't mean for it to end so sorely.